Hello everyone, welcome to day 11th of March Lead Code Challenge and I hope all of you are having a great time. The question that we have in today is to date list. It's again from the linked list series and to your surprise, we haven't solved this question in the past. So I'm pretty excited about solving it today after a very long time. Here in this question, we are given a linked list and we are given an integer value k. We need to rotate this linked list towards right by k units. So let's try and understand it with few simple examples. Here the value of the linked list that is given to us is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The value of k happens to be 2. So what will be the updated linked list after the first rotation? So 5 gets into this place as 1 and all these first 4 numbers get gets rotated towards right. They are moving towards right uh, again by 1 unit. This is the state after the first rotation. Now let's redo the same kind of a thing. Let's rotate this by 1 more unit because the value of k was 2. After the second rotation, what will be the state? It would be 4, 5. So all these numbers, 5 is getting shifted by 1 unit, 1 is getting shifted by 1 unit, 2 is getting shifted by 1 unit, 3 is also getting shifted by 1 unit. 4, since it's a, it was the last elements, becomes the head of the updated linked list. So the elements are 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. This is what we need to return as our result. I'll be walking you through the approach to solve this question. And this is not a medium level question. I would categorize this under easy category. So let's take the same example that was specified and let me just start the slideshow rotate list lead code i think it's 61 sorry for the typo but anyways let's start uh, let's take the same example that was specified in the question the value of k happens to be 2 let's divide the algo into two parts so we know in the final state since the value of k happens to be 2 these two should be at the top of the linked list or the starting of the linked list so the breakage points come becomes this location. Now, how can we identify this breakage point? It's pretty simple and straightforward. You calculate the length of the linked list. What is the length of the linked list? The length happens to be five. What is the value of K? The value of K is two. So five minus two gives you the index at which the breakage needs to happen. So the breakage needs to happen as per this case is our third index. So what we are going to do, we'll start the iteration and first of all we'll calculate the length by moving in single iteration then we will calculate the length at which breakage need to be happen and bp turns out to be 5 minus 2 which gives me 3 and now let's start the iteration again we will move the pointer by 3 units so 1 2 and 3 so it moves up till this particular location and what we will do uh, we will do two things here the first one is store the location of the next item, next element in the linked list which which would be the head of the updated linked list so let's call it it2 and what we are going to do we will simply update it.next to null so this gets updated to null now what is the state of the linked list we have two linked lists now one before the breakage point another one after the breakage point and the last step is pretty simple and straightforward what you will do you will iterate across the second linked list which is this one you will move towards the final terminal position and you will attach it to the head of the initial linked list that was given to you head was specified to this particular location in the question and now the updated state of linked list has become it2 which is 4 then we have 5 then we have 1 then we have 2 then we have 3 and 3 dot next has been updated to null which i all have already talked about the result would be it2 which will act as the head of the updated linked list this is what you need to do it has few simple steps absolutely crystal clear and we'll exactly follow the same thing as we have talked here. The time complexity of this approach is order of length of input linked list, order of n. So let's get started to the coding section now. Also, we are not using any extra space here. So space complexity remains constant time. Here I've created a helper method, which will actually tell me the length of the entire linked list it's, it accepts a parameter head and returns me the total number of elements that are present in my linked list. So I have stored this in a variable named length. Also, there are few corner cases that I have written. If my length happens to be less than or equal to zero, if the value of k happens to be zero, or k modulus length happens to be equal to zero, in any of these three cases, 
there will be no update required in my linked list. As a result of which, I'll simply return head. Also, uh, there is a special corner case that we need to take care of. If the value of k happens to be greater than the length, then we have to update k to k modulus length. Let's consider a very simple case where the value of k happens to be 100 and length happens to be 3. So uh, one way is to rotate the list by 100 units towards right. However, after every three units, the list would remain same. It will bring back to the original state as a result of which we should update k to k modulus length. Moving ahead, I identified the breakage point. I took a temp variable, a previous variable. So previous variable will act as it in my presentation and temp will act as my it2 of my presentation. So till the time my breakage point is greater than zero and my temp is not equal to null, I keep on incrementing temp and also store reference to the previous point. With each operation, I simply decrement the breakage point. Once I'm done with this, I should reset previous.next to null. This is acting as it.next to null of from the presentation. And again, I have taken another iterator variable, uh, which is basically responsible for iterating over the uh, after the breakage point link list. So till the time we have iterator dot next not equal to null, I keep on incrementing the iterator. And finally, in the end, iterator dot next is being set to the head of the original link list. Once I'm done with this, what do I do? I need to return it2, which will be my updated head of the link list here in this case temp is acting as that pointer i hope you have understood this logic and let's try this up 75 percent faster which is pretty good and fine and this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you are interested in more link list playlist series i am attaching the link in the description below do give it a short shot signing off your friend your mentor your catalyst in this journey of yours Sanchito Deja, take care, sayonara.